Welcome to the show. I'm Corinne. And I'm LaShondra, and together we're KNL Everyday CNAs. Tomorrow, May the 4th, is National Weather Observer Day. It's a day to recognize the ones who enjoy watching and observing the weather. Often, the weather observers assist the National Weather Service and, know, and known by the name of storm spotters. You yourself could become a storm spotter for your facility. Right. And you need to know the difference between a tornado watch and a tornado warning. Be prepared to jump into action to keep your residents safe. Know what to do. Stay calm and ready to perform the necessary task. Yeah. Most states have already experienced the flooding, the tornadoes, ice and snow, even fire and mudslides as well. It is vital that you know what to do, where to go, as well as what your policies are in all emergency situations. Think outside the box. Know your building inside and out. If you're working home health or hospice, know where you, where you are staying. Stay safe. You can never be too prepared. And here are a few things to remember. Severe thunderstorm watch. Conditions are favorable for de development. Severe thunderstorm warning. These storms can produce a tornado and should seek safety. With both a watch or a warning of a thunderstorm can bring hail, powerful winds, heavy rainfall. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about producing a tornado. Yeah. And a tornado watch means conditions are favorable for the development of tornadoes. And then a tornado warning this means a tornado has been indicated by radar or sighted by a spotter. Seek shelter immediately. A tornado warning can be issued without a tornado watch. And that's what kind of confused me a little bit mm -hmm. because you all, mm -hmm. you'll be at work and you know there's a watch, but then all of a sudden you hear the sirens go off and no one's really relaying to you that there's yeah, a warning. you get mixed up, yes. Flash flood watch. Flash floods is caused by heavy or excessive rainfall in a short amount of time. Conditions in your area are highly likely to become flooded. Watch for creeks, water on roadways, also ditches. Flash flood warning. Flash flood is in progress, imminent or highly likely. Mudslides. Mudslides occur when large amount of water and debris become liquefied, very fast moving water. Mm -hmm. And some of the mudslide tips is know your area, be aware of the wildlife burn area, live near a slope or there has been a rapid snow melt, pay attention to the land as well, watch for cracks growing in the ground, and listen, perk your ears up for unusual sounds boulders slamming together or trees crackling. Yep. And here's one that I thought was kind of interesting because my doors don't always stick and close, mm -hmm. but I don't live, you know, I don't have a problem with mudslides. But it's when your door won't open or it'll stick. This could be a sign of the mm -hmm. land moving or settlement of the land. And then evacuate only if it is safe to do so. Most mudslides happen in California, Washington, and Oregon. Next is fire safety. Know your evacuation floor plan. Know where all emergency exits are as well as fire doors. Know how to use a fire extinguisher. Yes, that's very important. Yeah. Working home health or hospice. Know your workplace inside and out. CNA should know two words and what they stand for. That is race and pass. Race, the capital R, stands for rescue. Capital A stands for alarm. The capital C stands for confine. And E stands for extinguish and evacuate. Yes. And pass, the P stands for pull the pin. The A stands for aim at the base of the fire. The S stands for squeeze handle. And the other S stands for sweep side to side. Yes. I know um, at the Missouri Veterans Home, that's pretty well oh, yeah. posted oh, everywhere. Yeah. 
And then it's vital that all CNAs know and understand how important their role is for the safety of the ones they care for, for their selves, as well as their coworkers they right. work with. We hope the information that we have given you today on the show is helpful. Please take the initiative to read and understand all safety protocols in your work settings. Remember, knowledge is power. Thank you for joining us on Everyday CNA. Make sure to subscribe and like. Leave us a comment. Yeah, and make sure you come back and um, visit us, like you said. Make sure you like and subscribe and share our videos. Um, leave us a comment. We always like to hear from you. But before we close, I wanted to interrupt you when we were talking about flooding. Now, I know in some CNAs are probably thinking, well, we don't live by any creeks or anything, and the facility isn't. But you also have to know if there would be a main water break in your building and the hallways come flooded, you know, make sure that you're asking a lot of questions of that as well. What's the safest way to move the residents in their wheelchairs and also their brother chairs? Well, you know, down where we live, down where I live, and it's been floods, and we had to go all the way around through Houston, Missouri a couple of times to yes. go to work, get home from work and go to work. So it can flood, I mean, yeah. the water's going to So just get out. be aware and stay safe and come back and see us again.